Here I have my iPhone Go and let me show you how to activate this device. So let's go through the initializing setup process on the following phone. As you can see, let's start from the welcome panel. Here you can choose your desired language. This is the full list of available languages that you can use. For example, in my case, let me select the English right here and let's choose your region. You can also choose vision settings and make some changes in the following list of settings. For example, you can customize the font size or display. Let's go back. You can also choose emergency and make some emergency calls if you need something. If not, let's go back and let's stop get started. So you can insert SIM card or you can activate your device without the SIM card. So let me do it that way. Let's stop skip. You can also restore some backup from a copy uh, from other devices or you can get a fresh start. Let me set up my device as a new. You can also connect your phone to one of the available Wi-Fi. It's not necessary, but I usually recommend having the internet access. So let me connect my device to my Wi-Fi. The phone is obtaining the IP address. And now the device is connected. The phone is checking network and adding uh, finishing touches. Let's wait a few seconds. The phone is looking for any available update. The device is checking info. And here you can add your Google account. You can do it in two ways. You can create a new account by using that blue link or you can use the existing Google account. So in my case, let me use the existing one. Let's enter the email. Let's tap next. Now it's time to enter the password. Let me tap go to, to the Swift key. The following tutorial may pop up. Let me choose not now. So now let me enter the password. All right, let's choose next right here. If everything is correct, the following screen pops up. Let's tap accept to terms of service and privacy policy. The device is checking in for one more time. Here we've got some Google services so you can enable or disable automatically backup device data. You can use Google's location service to help apps that remind your location. You may improve location accuracy, help improve your Android experience. In my case, let me leave all of these features enabled and let's tap next. You may protect your phone by using some kind of the screen lock method, so the pattern pin or password, but you may also choose not now and you may set up this later in settings. You can check out how to do it on our other videos. The device is checking, tap continue. Choose no thanks to the following permissions in my case. You can set up some important settings right here or you can also do it later and for now you can just scroll down and choose setup later that's it as you can see the home screen just pops up let's just have got it and now you can use your device in a normal way so thank you for watching please subscribe our channel leave thumbs up under the video